want you to give your best answer, one that's worth millions of dollars to the family. So this is the reason why I'm sure they're listening into the podcast. The best advice you have for a family looking to be active in privates and directs. What's the best piece of advice that you've heard, your experiences, and you would give them? It's a great question. Um, you know, to me, I think, I think it's really around having a strategy, right? Um, I think too many families are basically have no strategy. They, they basically, when somebody asks, well, what do you want to invest in? They'll say, I'll invest in anything. But the reality is if you don't stand for anything, then you have no strategy. And um, what, what, what it functionally means is that you end up having your strategy dictated to you by what gets pitched to you right? So too many families from my experience are reactive. Um, they basically have people pitching them stuff and they take a look at that. And eventually, you know, after a handful of them, they decide to actually write a check and invest in it as opposed to taking a step back and saying, well, what is the right fit for my family in terms of check size, in terms of geography, in terms of stage, is this early stage or growth or, or, or buyouts or distressed in terms of, um, you know, liquidity and risk return and, and so many different factors. And then, um, you know, that is, 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 is extremely important because then it allows them to say, you know what, I'm going to be proactive at what I want to do. And I also can filter out the extraneous um, deals in an easy and efficient manner that, uh, you know, that don't really fit what I'm looking for. Um, and so that, that discipline of having a strategy and having a plan and working at it in a systematic way um, I think is consistent with all the, 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 the families that I would say are the most successful private investors, as opposed to, um, you know, basically being very passive and saying, yeah, I'll take a look at stuff. Um, and I don't really have a strategy because from my experience, what ends up happening is one of two things, neither of which are good. Either the family um, has, you know, uh, the, you know, the, let's say they're talking to brokers. So broker is going to forget about them because there's nothing, you know, salient that they're remembering about this family that this is they want to look at. Or secondly, the broker sends everything in the kitchen sink at them, which is basically the old stale deals that everybody else has passed along. So, you know, I guess the, the, important, you know, takeaway is if you have a strategy, then you can work backwards and say, okay, well, I really want to focus on multifamily class B properties in the Southeast United States. Then you can come up with a systematic approach to origination, to building up due diligence, to building up your team, etc. cetera. Um, too often, uh, you know, the families, um, you know, basically start in an ad hoc manner and their experience may not necessarily be reflective of the true potential of investing directly because, you know, they're just not giving it a fair shake. 